But as for tonight here in the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York, it is main event time on Friday Night SmackDown. And for the first time since SummerSlam, Drew McIntyre laces up a pair of boots, walks down the aisle, supporting the big gold belt around his waist, and ready to get a little warm up before that five-man elimination challenge tomorrow night. And he's set to go one-on-one -on -one with a man who's been on his tail for months here on SmackDown, the Apex Predator Randy Orton. The championship may not be on the line tonight, but massive momentum towards tomorrow night's championship fight certainly is. It's main event time here in Brooklyn. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds. The World Heavyweight Champion, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre won the World Heavyweight Championship back at WrestleMania. He has won against Seth Rollins, John Cena, Braun Breaker, Edge, Randy Orton, Austin Theory. But tomorrow night is no doubt the biggest challenge since McIntyre left WrestleMania earlier this year with the big gold belt. Some men he has already faced before, yes, but not under these circumstances and not under a matchup where every man's got to fall to secure a world heavyweight champion. McIntyre's got to fight through four other challengers. It is not going to be an easy task when you're standing across the ring from a Hall of Famer future Hall of Famers, former world champions, and everybody going for the same end goal of the World Heavyweight Championship. And his opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. Tomorrow night, there's gotta be four casualties to, to, to secure a victor at no mercy in Baltimore, but tonight here on SmackDown in Brooklyn, Randy Orton is looking for just one casualty, and that is the World Heavyweight Champion himself, Drew McIntyre. Orton has been gunning for that world title ever since jumping ship to SmackDown earlier this summer. Remember back at Money in the Bank, it was Randy Orton, Edge, and McIntyre in a triple threat matchup, a matchup which, of course, McIntyre retained the gold, and Randy Orton took his sights to the rated R superstar Edge, a man he has had a storied pass with, wanted to eliminate Edge from competition and get him out of the way to try to move forward in becoming the number one contender for McIntyre. Orton did defeat Edge at SummerSlam, but as you have seen over the last few weeks on SmackDown, Orton, Edge, Austin Theory, AJ Styles, these four men have been back and forth with each and every one of each other trying to trying to proclaim who would be the number one contender for Drew McIntyre. After the inability to secure a number one contender through controversy and chaos, the five-man elimination match was signed, and somebody is going to get the last laugh. We are going to have one true winner tomorrow night. Bell to bell will sound, as it just did, and the World Heavyweight Champion will leave tomorrow with the big gold belt. Randy Orton and McIntyre locking horns in your main event here on SmackDown. And once again, coming your way tomorrow afternoon, 3 p.m. Eastern time, the quarterfinals of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament kick off at the Hammerstein Ballroom. And we head to Baltimore, Maryland at 5 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow night for the SmackDown exclusive premium live event, No Mercy. And then coming your way this Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern time, live from Chicago, Illinois, is the Raw exclusive live premiere event, Unforgiven. It's gonna be an awesome weekend. It's been an awesome week. Monday Night Raw, SmackDown, Cruiserweight Classic, set to continue us tomorrow. No better place you're gonna get this kind of action than right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Be sure to hit that like, be sure to subscribe, be sure to become a channel member. Don't miss a minute of the action. Nonetheless, Drew McIntyre's his first matchup back since that world title defense at SummerSlam in Levi Stadium. Phenomenal matchup against the young, hungry Austin Theory, the 2023 King of the Ring winner. As McIntyre sends Orton to the outside here, and McIntyre looking to get a little bit of the rust off before tomorrow night, going to the sky. But Randy Orton had it scouted, and the world champion goes crashing and burning at ringside, and Orton is going to hunt down his prey. 
The Apex Predator sending McIntyre right into the ring post. Warren's been waiting for a one-on-one -on -one match with McIntyre, and the title may not be on the line tonight, but momentum absolutely is. Randy Orton has wanted nothing more than to get back in the main event. Hold championship gold once again. Remember before he jumped to SmackDown, he was on top of Monday Night Raw for months as the WWE Champion. Now Orton wants another reign with the gold. This time the World Heavyweight title. The first title. First World Championship Randy Orton held here in the WWE all those years ago. Fight gets taken back inside the squared circle and McIntyre's not looking hot right now against Randy Orton. This is a tough matchup to take just 24 hours before a world title defense and it's interesting that Randy Orton agreed upon this matchup as well. Randy Orton most likely looks at this matchup as an opportunity to weaken a man who has been dominant all year long. We have said it before, we'll say it again, 2023 has been the year of the Scottish Warrior from winning Elimination Chamber in January, winning the world title at WrestleMania, defending it ever since, month after month, week after week. McIntyre continues to get better, continue to survive the toughest challenges in absolutely emphatic ways and leave world champion. Four challengers or not, McIntyre is still a tough man to beat. No matter which way you spin it, it's going to be a difficult task to leave Baltimore, Maryland tomorrow night as the World Heavyweight Champion. And that is what Randy Orton has got in mind this evening here in Brooklyn. Eliminate McIntyre from competition. And at least try to weaken him before the five-man elimination challenge. Mac oh, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Camera's cutting to the back. The rated R superstar edge, Austin Theory, a brawl has broken out in the backstage area. Remember what happened last week. Edge was set to fight Austin Theory in the main event, but Theory took him out earlier in the evening, and AJ Styles then signed up to fight Austin Theory in the main event, and chaos ensued from there, but clearly unfinished business between Theory and Edge, and these two men not waiting for tomorrow night. A brawl has ensued in the backstage area. And I don't know who started this, if this was another Theory attack, as that has been his M.O. the last couple of weeks, or if Edge was the one chomping at the bit to get his hands on Theory. But nonetheless, we got a Pier 6 brawl in the middle of Barclays Center. Absolute chaos. We got to get some help back there. Separate those two men before they absolutely incapacitate each other before No Mercy tomorrow night. We are back inside the Barclays Center, thankfully. Hopefully we get those two men separated. Nonetheless, McIntyre back in control of this matchup. Randy Orton was controlling the last couple of minutes. Man, if that doesn't show, tensions have been riding high on SmackDown for weeks between Orton and Styles and Edge and Theory, all with the same end goal as we mentioned, becoming number one contender for the world title. And it's all led us to tomorrow night, and tensions clearly riding high. Theory attacking Edge, Edge attacking Theory. Randy Orton getting involved last week, RKOing Edge out in the WWE Universe onto the concrete. McIntyre is the one who's just been sitting back watching all this chaos, waiting to see who was going to step up. And ultimately, the five-man elimination match was signed for tomorrow. Or oh, remains to be seen. Somebody's going to get the last laugh, and the chaos is going to come to a close. 24 hours in Baltimore. Nonetheless, let's focus on the matchup at hand here tonight in Barclays. McIntyre and Orton to a SmackDown's All-Stars, squaring off one-on-one. -on -one. You know, an interesting fact coming into this matchup is the last time McIntyre and Orton went one-on-one -on -one in any capacity was last year on Monday Night Raw around this time, and Randy Orton actually defeated McIntyre on that night. Gotta wonder if McIntyre has thought back to that matchup. A lot of history between these two men nonetheless, but the most recent coming last year around this time on Monday Night Raw was an all-star, massive main event. And Randy Orton walked away the victor. But right now, Drew McIntyre showing that he's an absolutely different man this time around. Dragged on Randy Orton at ringside. Not something you see too often. If anybody can do it, the World Heavyweight Champion certainly can. Orton down. McIntyre going for the Claymore, it looked like there. Was loading up as Randy Orton was dazed. Or was the Viper just lying in wait? Because now Orton's got McIntyre off his feet yet again. And the momentum has swung back to the Apex Predator. Randy Orton going for that signature. Vintage Orton. DDT 
DDT from the middle rope. And McIntyre, the World Heavyweight Champion, is down, could possibly be out, and could be about to suffer his first defeat in all of 2023. But McIntyre pops the shot. Oh, again, Theory and Edge. Theory and Edge are still going at it in the backstage area here at Barclays. Well, clearly nobody willing to get between these two men who are absolutely hell-bent on tearing each other apart. And I don't know if they give a damn about making it to No Mercy tomorrow. At least trying to eliminate the other from competition. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is what happened last week. This is why Edge couldn't compete in the main event. Through the table goes the rated R superstar. Theory laying out Edge for the second week in a row. Through table to the concrete. Edge is down and Austin Theory is walking away, grinning ear to ear. Well, it all comes down to tomorrow night. We could say more, but clearly the chaos speaks for itself. It's been the MO of all of these All-Stars over the last few weeks on SmackDown. Who's going to get the last lap? Who's going to be first in line? McIntyre's taking on any and all comers. Put up or shut up tomorrow night at no mercy. Leave the World Heavyweight Champion, and then you can call the shots. Right now, the champion himself, McIntyre, is back under the mercy of Randy Orton. And Drew playing a game of cat and mouse right now as both these men's endurance may be starting to slip through. Well, Randy Orton as McIntyre came to the outside, goaded him in and sends him into the barricade. Vicious matchup between Orton and McIntyre. Gotta wonder if this is gonna play into if there will be enough in the tank, if there will be 100% before the five-man elimination match tomorrow. Those line on the outside, Orange really starting to kick things into gear and just continues to pummel the world heavyweight champion on the outskirts of the squared circle. Oh, wait, what the hell? What the hell? AJ Styles! He just hit Randy Orton with a phenomenal forearm. Orton's out. Styles, who has had his issues with Orton, dropping him in the ring. The chaos has got to come to a close tomorrow night. Five-man elimination challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship. Coming your way on Saturday night, April the 13th. Witness the aftermath of WrestleMania as the superstars of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown head to San Juan, Puerto Rico for the 2024 Backlash. This international live premiere event streams live at 5 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday night, April the 13th. And as a new season approaches, what will these superstars have in store? You haven't seen anything yet, and nothing can prepare you for the backlash.